tayo mga story so um, we are here to witness the the annual celebration or annual contest of Barangay Luz the ba um, Barangay Luz right it consists of how many cities ang Barangay Luz um 16 16 16, 16, 16 cities 16 and we have here uh, 21 organization I 21 overall organizations including cities and some organizations yes. so for this annual um contest which is called the a lantern lantern making, making contest. contest but they have also annual theme but he, um this year's theme it's called quarta uh, sa basura so ang mga parol niya makita ninyo it's like um conceptualized with the use of the different matter i recyclable materials mga kanong nasa basura di ba so muna siya ang theme muna siya dapat yung concept nila with other lantern so nasa yung mga guidelines na dapat nila follow so that there will be no deduction for their ano sa ilahang parol, de ba? For their scores, de ba? So why is it held during December 21? Is it annual during December 21? Yes, annual this annual December 21. Kay every year and every year jud is na ajud ay ko ang jud nawa ko magpa-lantern making contest. Yes, and as what I have heard also talking to them, it's held today, which is December 21, because. Um, combined organizations and CTOs, its total is 21. So December 21 plus combined organizations and CTOs na, na ni appeal ang contest is 21, di ba? And then there's also some chika-chika nga katong Jupiter and Saturn something for today's ano, di ba? Nga mag something. So it's like a symbolizing a star or a, a light which is a lantern, di ba? Marignana, something light. So what can you say about to our barangay? Lose ng mga kababayan, mga ka stories. Yes, oh, thank you din. Pasalamat ako sa mga kabatid. Una na ito ni Tuano, nag kina nagkugi, nagkamot, sa apil, mga apil sa karun. Kina no matter what is a uh, true effort sa ilaha jud is makita yes. jud nato ilang ko anjo so kung gi sa ilang ko yes. makita na nato dira kung sa nindot ang ilang mga parol kung sa sila ka effort mm -hmm. ka like very um the thing more the cooperation sure. itself by CPUs and by organizations so let's go symbolizes us the blood and the life that has been lost because of COVID-19. So as you can see, the city that being attached on the side of our red cup symbolizes us our hope and faith in God. Hope that can be a great foundation to keep our faith in God that in every problem that we may face in the world has a, uh, has a purpose in our life. And together with the LPC youth, we unite as one and we collab our mind and Together with our brainstorm, uh, we create a lantern that we will surely uh, create a very creative way of spending our Christmas. And in behalf of the LPC Youth Movement, we are leaving this word that we may not have the usual celebration of Christmas due to COVID-19.
recycle ma um, ang reuse ng recycle materials. Ang first base na mo ay payo na siya ang family use baka nang ipang buwan sa tindahan, maganda to colorful. Mo ni siya mo still be able to buwan base. Kaya ang mo usual mo bigyan mo ni kay nature spring, niya straw, niya plastic. Then mo ni siya niya gamit sa mga materials or glitters para lang sa dashay ko an effect mo or lights sa mo ang for you. called Christmas Pearl, which is inspired to Ayuda. As you can see, to the material used to our Christmas Pearl, it is commonly seen to the relief box or also known as Ayuda. From the egg trays to the boxes of vitamins up to the relief pa food packs. The overall concept of this Pearl is generosity and hope. Generosity because our barangay never failed to give us to give us the needs that we need during the pandemic or in the midst of lockdown. And we, the barangay did not let us, let its people to starve in the midst of lockdown. Oh, this pandemic made us realize that we should not give up on our hope and we should instill our faith in God.
saving of our Lord too, showing His triumph over death and suffering. The book warns us of significant prophecies terrifying enough to imagine. And these prophecies are slowly fulfilled. With 2020 being one of our most challenging years, it is fearsome enough to realize the prophecy is not yet over. It is still starting. John the Baptist cry in the wilderness encourage us to see these loving, these blooming signs to never ignore them. The best way of the Lord is makes his path straight. Matthew chapter 3 verse 3. These pertains to changing our ways to do better. It tells us that the only way to prepare for the book of Revelation fulfilled prophecy is to make our hearts Open Hashtag One faith towards straight back. of the SK officials. Can you introduce yourselves? Um, hi, I'm Joseph Antelegando, SK Treasurer. SK Treasurer and? I'm Joshua Sala, SK Supervisor. Yes, so they're here para magpasalamat and to tell you exactly kung sa'yo na yung tabuk sa judging and nakapak sila sa, sa final three, di ba? Uh, so, motto, uh, after a long kanang de deliberation, yes. uh, uh, oh, karon naman ang uh, kuha ang mga results sa uh, Tulukan Judges of 
Oh, dito na nakita na mo kung kinsa dyan ang um, deserving makadao. Oh. Are they unanimous with their decisions about first, second, third? Oh, ilahag yun na, ilahag yun ang kuhan. Unanimous sila nga. Oh. All of them, ang first game, mga good. Mga good ang first. Because I hear, diba, there are some um, contingent or entries na may mga deductions because of your guidelines. Oh, auto. Um, so, so sorry, guys, sa mga contingent na na didakan kay as we uh, yes sa uh, amo ang guidelines na wala sila ni follow and i hope na dili ra magmahay sa result of yes. everyone as a winner kay we are just trying uh, to be fair with the contest diba kay na guidelines ni follow ang katong mga all contestants so katong mga wala ka follow of course there are deductions nga nga kailangan nila ipatukal kay ipa i-comply diba so mga nagibuat sa mga judges so na yun mga deliberation about the results mm -hmm. yes what else would you like to say something the viewers and the officials are very own as as the chairman of the movement then sing and ang salamat niyo dako sa mga di participate sa mga parol contest oh salamat niyo sa tanang mga youth organizations maternities oh salamat sa tanang Yes, thank you so much again, mga stories, mga taga barangay Luz, right? So once again, this is Joseph, the SK treasurer, and Joshua, Joshua, SK secretary, SK secretary, and I'm Ramel for the hashtag Arsasar Lucia. Thank you so much. Congratulations once again to all the winners. So ibutan naman de after that ang first, second, and third, de ba sa lantern making contest. Congratulations. Bye.